A good thing about Austria is its public transport system. You can hop on a bus or a train and reach any place pretty comfortably. So did I took a train to Salzburg and spent a day there. I'm in Salzburg, guys. On this beautiful sunny day, the city is well known because of Mozart and the whole family, but primarily uh, Amadeus Mozart, of course. And here you can find his birthplace, his residence place, and also, of course, the Mozart Google, the original ones. If you've been to Austria, you probably saw those in red cover. Those in red cover are not the original ones. The original ones you can find only here in Salzburg because they are handmade. It's probably on everyone's to-do list in Salzburg to buy Mozart Kugeln. If you want to buy the original ones, you should go to Konditei first. They have three locations in Salzburg and only their chocolate is allowed to be labeled as original. It was my first time trying them as well, so I decided to buy those mainstream ones and compare. The first chocolate seemed bigger. The Matipa nougat bowl is placed on a small wooden stick and dipped in dark chocolate. The hole that remains after removing the stick is then filled with chocolate by hand. Mirabel Palace and Gardens are part of the UNESCO World Heritage. The palace is used for city government and is famous for weddings, while the garden is one of the most popular spots in town. At the same time, you can see another popular landmark in the city, the fortress. Now at the Mirabel Palace, it's an extremely beautiful sight here in Salzburg, so definitely have a look if you have some time. It's quite well known uh, because of the movie The Spirit of Music. If you've seen it, you'll recognize some filming locations. Also, it's one of the most popular spots to get married. It hosts an enormous amount of weddings per year, not because it's free, but because it's beautiful. There are also some gardens nearby with the famous uh, Pegasus fountain. Definitely something interesting to see. The city center is a great place to get lost, especially in Gatai de Gassem. The architecture of the houses in this street is characterized by beautiful doorways as well as by windows that become steadily smaller from the first floor up. In addition, the old houses are often decorated with important days in their history. Yet another magnet for visitors is Mozart birthplace, which stands at number 9 Gatai de Gasse. Before checking out Moses' birthplace, 
I made one more stroll through the city. Just like that, I came across those cucumbers that must reference the human body in all its individuality. Another popular piece of art is this sphere. It represents the connection between tradition and modernity that makes Salzburg so unique. As for me, it looks like a giant Mozart Google, which is kinda cool. And finally, Mozart's birthplace. It is officially one of the most visited museums in Austria and one of the most famous sites in Salzburg. On several floors you can learn a lot about the famous composer. The first floor replicates the living conditions at the time of Mozart, the second floor is dedicated to his music, and on the third floor, where the family lived for 26 years, you will find instruments, family letters, portraits, and even a bunch of Mozart's hair. All the most popular sites are situated in the city center, which makes Salzburg a perfect destination for a day or a weekend trip. I didn't go up to the fortress this time, as I visited it before, but if you have time, definitely do that and enjoy the views of the city from above. If you liked this video, subscribe to my channel to stay updated about my next trips.